Alright guys, so in this video we're going to be swapping out my old worn out jet pump that's been running salt water. We're going to take it out of commission and swap in a new one to get rid of this horrible cavitation, as you can hear. You can tell this is in excellent condition because, you know, what other reason would I be replacing this? I would just be doing it for fun. So here is the inside of the duct tunnel, and there you can see the impeller, and that is in absolutely terrible condition. The wear ring might be all right, but I just went ahead and bought the whole thing off of eBay uh, just to be done with it. And the rear nozzle, as you can see, that has a hole in it, and yeah, it's on its way out, and this obviously is on its way out. So pretty much I am completely swapping in a brand new jet pump. All right, so I managed to get all those up there. These I cannot get because they are completely stripped out. And I'm not going to worry about it when I'm trying to be upside down underneath the jet ski. I'm just going to take the whole thing out and I'll deal with it later. Yeah, see, look at that. Oh, is this one actually coming out? Yeah, look at that one, just completely broke off. This one actually came out in full. stator blades look fine. I don't really see any crazy chips missing or anything. Uh, that one over there has some chips missing. Oh, it has grease in it. Look at that crap. No wonder it was cavitating like crazy. But the bearings still spin free though. All right, so the only thing left is the intake duct. There you can see my broken off screws right there and that one actually came out no problem. Oh, oh crap. We got it. All right, so jet pump's completely gutted. And uh, I'm hoping that bearing up there is good. So now the more fun part is trying to get these stupid screws out so I can get this guard off. Finally. So there you go, guys. There is a worn out Yamaha Wave Runner 3 jet pump. And I mean completely worn out. All right, so just like that, a new jet pump is here. Let's crack it open and see how it looks. So out with this old broken one and in with the nice new one. The impeller blades on this are a little bit thicker or a little bit longer than this old one. And if we come around the back, pretty much they look identical. So this is a 96 Wave Runner 3. This one here is for a 94 Wave Runner 3 GP. Not really fully sure what the GP is. Maybe it's because it had the 700. This one has a 650 motor. But you know what? I don't care. And I think it should work better because this motor seems to have plenty enough power.
Guys, I just noticed something. You know, obviously the shaft is steel. This is aluminum, but the impeller is stainless steel. See, that's magnetic. Now this one out here is aluminum as well. So that's uh, pretty interesting. All right, so I'm pretty much done uh, polishing somewhat this impeller. It's not an absolute perfect mirror finish, but it was much better than what it was before. All right, so before I put all this wearing stuff back together, um, I'm just gonna put a very thin layer of RTV around here and around here, just to kind of help seal this off. I know this little lip goes inside of here and it really seals it, but I'm just gonna put a little bit around just to be sure. And a little tip with this RTV, uh, if you know, these things want to like burst open on the side and get all over your hands and just make your uh, day that much better. But put it in a little bag like this. So if it accidentally does uh, rip, it doesn't go all over your hands. So I'll put a thin layer just around here. All I have is uh, oil RTV, but really anything would work. With RTV guys, you just want a very thin layer. Uh, sometimes on one side because you don't want to put too much on because too much is not good you got both dial pins in should just go right back together pretty smoothly all right y'all so i ripped the back cover off of this uh pump here and expose the grease and it's not too bad. I mean, I'm really, I'm not fully sure what the grease is actually just supposed to look like, but it looks and feels like it's pretty good and the bearings still spin free. So I'm just gonna put it back together the way it is. All right guys, another part just came in, the rear nozzle and that's in much better condition. That's just completely shot and there's a hole in the side right here. And it also came with the bolts. All right, so I went through, I sanded everything, got it really smooth. Again, no, it's not a mirror finish, but much better than what it was before. And you might think I'm going a little bit overkill with this, but I mean, why do you port and polish a head on an engine? To make it flow better. Same way with this, every little bit helps. It's just simple physics, guys. The less friction you have, the more energy available you have for work. All right, so the water spout that came off of the new nozzle I bought is all broken, and the one from the uh, old one is actually in halfway decent-ish condition, so I'm just gonna reuse it. And every screw I'm putting on here, guys, I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite on it. Keeps it tight, and it keeps it from rust welding. So since this has some bare metal surfaces, um, I'm just gonna shoot this uh, black primer over it. So here we have it guys, a brand new intake duct, as you can see, um, compare it to the old one, much, much better condition. So I went through and cleaned up the inside and now I'm kind of going around, scraping up all the old silicon that came off of this. All right, so there is like some kind of thin foam-like material that goes around it, but I'm gonna put a little bit of this uh, 221 water sealant stuff just a thin layer around here just to uh, be sure it's actually really sealing off all right so we have the intake duct all nice and uh adhesive up i guess that's what you call it so yeah let's uh get underneath the jet ski and try to put this thing in place
we got the 96 Yamaha Wave Runner 3 jet pump fully installed. Still got to wait for the RTV uh, sealant in order to dry. And once it dries, we're going to take it out on the lake. Alright guys, so we are ready to go. I started this thing up like yesterday, so I think it should start, but I'll give it a little choke anyway. much better. It's like glass out here now. Alright guys, so I was driving this thing around and it was doing pretty good. It seemed to feel a lot smoother than what it did before. I had the GPS going, I got it with 38 miles an hour, but something very odd happened. I crossed the other side of the bridge to go on the other side of the lake, and I went to go give it throttle, and it went on up, and it started, like, vibrating a ton. Uh, like, something was just really vibrating really bad, and I'm like, the crap? So, I turned back around and came all the way back over here, um, because I don't want to get screwed out way out there, because I don't have a paddle or anything. I did also grease the uh, inner bearing on the inside. There's a little grease port. As you can see, I'm putting on and I am uh, pumping grease in it. So I know that's all greased up. I, don't, I just don't know what could be causing this thing to vibrate like crazy. I can't really look at the jet pump in the water. So I'm gonna pull the thing out of the water and have a little look what's going on. Oh, it's not gonna do it on camera, but it was doing it a little bit ago. Yeah, whatever. It's not doing it on camera, but you know, you get the gist of it. It is working much better than what it was before. Maybe it got too hot or something, but I, I mean, why would that happen? So yeah, let's get this thing out of the water. So I couldn't get about the water just to get any leftover water out of the exhaust system and the cooling system and all that. I mean, everything under here from a first glance looks fine. I don't see any major issues. Line setting came undone. Everything inside of there looks fine. All right, so I got it back. I did crank it up uh, out of the water, looked under and the impeller and the shaft and all that seemed to spin very straight. Uh, nothing looked really out of whack or anything. I don't know, maybe the impeller could have came loose or something. Uh, that's my guess. So if you got any idea what the heck is going on with that, give me a note in the comments and y'all should see me in the next one.